Good morning, folks. We've got weather alerts across the globe, a potential nuclear incident that may be much worse than expected. The West Coast quake uptick continues, and as for those CMEs we analyzed yesterday, the expert analysis is out and now confirms that both eruptions will miss Earth. We saw the CMEs on coronagraphs yesterday going left and right, and so we're left to see what's coming our way now. Let's head over to spaceweathernews.com and check out the last day on our star. Couple coronal holes, plasma filament incoming top left, and at the very end, an impressive looking ripple that can only be a large solar eruption. Clearly two parts to it, the main burst and then the plasma destabilization to the south of it. In 304 angstroms, you can see the CME leaving just behind the limb while the remnants dance through the corona towards the south polar crown. A look from Stereo A from behind the sun shows a small flare destabilizing the region just out of view with the eruption coming off the side. Just for the sake of seeing it, big CME on coronagraphs, this one will miss us too. Waited till the earth facing quiet couldn't touch him. In terms of solar flaring, we've had a couple more attempts at a run, but those big sunspots are going to wait until they get off the earth facing disk. Until then, their chances to fire are very low. What we will be looking at in the coming days is more of what we've been eyeing for months, plasma filaments rather than sunspots with this big guy sneaking over the limb into view now. The solar wind does not show any further impacts but for a small speed rise the last four hours that I'll be watching for intensification today. Magnetic storm conditions have completely waned away and yet our outlook for geomagnetic activity remains high as we've got a couple coronal holes on the disk, each setting a speedy stream our way that has a chance to impact our magnetic field eyes on it. Most interesting quake of the last day hit the U.S. West Coast. A bit further north of the swarm previous days, but a 4.7 is well above average as they've been seeing there all week. Interesting story out of the Ukraine. The nuclear incident from earlier this month is now claimed to be much worse than reported, with decompression of the reactor steam and leakage of nuclear fuel. An official claims that that report is 100% false, but one has to wonder, why would someone make up such a story? You might remember that Hawaii is finally on alert to take one of these hurricanes that keeps running west south of Mexico. This one, finally going to get them this weekend. Eyes open, best of luck folks. In the United States and Canada, a big low towards the northeast will first drop large hail and rip fast winds across New England, and then shift back across the convergence line into the Midwest. More rain bands coming at the west coast of the countries here, while the eastern areas will see flash flooding events from those downpours. Down under, it's southeast Australia and the whole of New Zealand. Tiny low and a larger convergence will take on the islands for about an entire day. Be ready. Solid little system at the Chilean coastline now. Apart from a long convergence back to Brazil, there isn't much else to see there. Got some shots of our star to close. It's 3.35 a.m. in the New Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.